So Dragon Ball Daima and Sparking Zero, the release of these two Dragon Ball products has got the whole fan base hyped. However, the particular thing that's got me the most hyped is we are finally venturing into the demon realm in Dragon Ball Daima. In this video, we're going to talk about which demon may potentially be the strongest demon in the multiverse in Dragon Ball Super. For years prior to the Dragon Ball Renaissance that began with Battle of Gods way back in 2013, after an interview with Akira Toriyama for a guidebook, the biggest mystery and mysticism surrounded the demon realm and the Makayo Shin, who were basically evil supreme Kais that were born from a golden fruit. For years on message boards and any websites that were around back in those times, the most anticipated upcoming lore expansion would have been surrounding the demon realm in terms of what the fan base would have expected. If anything, Dragon Ball Super went in the opposite direction by having angels introduced and having Goku and Vegeta train in the ways of the gods and the angels, with Goku eventually attaining Ultra Instinct and Angelic Technique. But with Dragon Ball Daima and Goku venturing into the Demon Realm alongside the Supreme Kai, these events seemingly taking place in between the end of Goku's fight with Majin Buu on the world of the Supreme Kais and Battle of Gods where Beerus arrives and Goku attains Super Saiyan God. With it being speculated that this is going to lead to an arc in the future, whether that be Dragon Ball Super's 10th arc or possibly even a movie, it leaves a lot to speculate about. However, one thing that we don't need to speculate about is Dragon Ball Super did bring about some information about demons and not only did it bring about that information it introduced the multiverse which if you look at the universal model of universe 7 it has the demon realm the bottom tip of the universe however given that there's 12 universes now in the dragon ball super lore you can assume that there's going to be 12 demon realms i think that will be a safe assumption we know that there's at least more than one as we know in universe 11 where Jiren of the Pride Troopers resides. Jiren's parents and master, depending on which canonicity you go by, they do alter slightly differently from the manga to the anime. However, his master, Master Gitchen, was certainly killed by a demon. In the anime version, this foe of Jiren's was referred to as an evildoer in the English sub. But in the manga, the English sub of the manga refers to it as a demon and even adds context to this situation with Margarita, the angel of Universe 11, stating that any mortal or being that's killed by a demon cannot even be revived by angel powers. As we saw at the end of the Tournament of Power, angels can revive mortals from the dead as we saw him Whis revive Frieza after his exploits in the Tournament of Power. However, Master Gitchen, Jiren's master, was killed by a demon and that's why Jiren was entering the Tournament of Power to win the Super Dragon Balls in order to revive Master Gitchen. Now, the demons in Universe 7 are stated to not be as strong as the Supreme Kai's in Universe 7 and the Supreme Kai at this particular time is of course Shin, the Supreme Kai of Universe 7. He is not that strong, he's even weaker than a Super Saiyan 2 from the Buu Saga. In fact, even Zamasu without becoming Goku Black or Merge Zamasu had surpassed him and Zamasu was a Cardinal Kai essentially that was promoted due to his superior martial arts abilities. Shin simply isn't that strong and of course in Universe 7 there was that odd situation where there was five Supreme Kais at once with the Daikai Shin leading them. Of course they were all killed off by Majin Buu or absorbed by Majin Buu leaving Shin. But Shin just isn't that strong but apparently he is strong enough to hold off the Demon Realm. Although we do know that Dabra, the king of the Demon Realm in the Buu Arc was stronger than Shin. But Shin does have a lot of god type magic so who knows how that would have played out but Dabra certainly had more raw power but I think it's fair to say come Dragon Ball Super levels especially when we get later into the story from Tournament's Power onwards Shin in terms of raw power is completely and utterly irrelevant but that's just Universe 7 imagine if the Tournament's Power took place at the end of the Buu arc Universe 7 would have been wiped out fairly quickly they wouldn't have been able to match up to even some of the other universes never mind Universe 11 that had Topo, Jiren and Dispo however Universe 11 is is a pretty damn strong universe. Jiren was casualing Goku Vegeta until Goku attained Ultra Instinct and even then Jiren was at least able to compete with Ultra Instinct Goku for a certain amount of time and if you watch my 
full power scale of the Dragon Ball Super manga, you'll know how I ranked Jiren at least in terms of raw power in comparison to Ultra Instinct Goku. I think it may surprise some of you. And just a quick plug, that power scaling video is the best work I've done on this channel. If you enjoy my content, you should definitely watch that power scaling video. It's a unique power scaling video where I use the Dragon Ball Sticker Wafer set power scaling system to scale the characters, and I think it's a good turnout. So whilst the demons in the Demon Realm of Universe 7 may not be particularly that strong, and we must say this, just because Dabra was the king of the Demon Realm, and he was strong of course, does that necessarily mean it's the strongest demon in the demon realm? Does it require you to be the strongest in the demon realm, to be the king of the demon realm? We actually don't know that much. So it is possible that there are stronger demons in the demon realm and the Mikayo Shin may be stronger than what Dabura was in the demon realm. Although, of course, as I mentioned earlier, it is implied that right now, the gods of creations, the Supreme Kai's in Universe 7 have got the upper hand over those in the Demon Realm. So I would think not, but it is still possible. Because you could argue that maybe it is possible that Beerus is being taken into account when Shin goes to fight against these kind of beings, because that is typically the role of the God of Destruction. Of course, we know that Beerus is asleep. That motherfucker nearly died in his sleep when Majin Buu came about. Now, whilst the Universe 7 demons might not be particularly that strong, at least in terms of the end of the Boo saga and possibly Daima, as I expect that they will not surpass end of Dragon Ball Super levels. What I'm talking about is tournaments power onwards, potentially Morowark. Moro was quite evil and had magic, but he wasn't quite considered a demon. So I'd love to know what that requires to be considered a demon. Obviously we know Majin Buu's a demon, Majin means demon, but they are not particularly that strong. Whereas in Universe 11, this demon was able to not only overwhelm Master Gichin, but everybody fighting alongside him as well. Now Master Gichin, you would assume is no slouch. He trained Jiren to become as strong as he was, to the point that Jiren wants to resurrect him. He was also a close friend to Belmont, the God of Destruction of Universe 11. Now, does that necessarily mean that Gitchen's as strong as Jiren and Belmont? Not quite, but it's also possible that he is, if not stronger. Obviously, Belmont had the intention to become the God of Destruction, and in that universe, we know that Jiren is stronger than Belmont in that universe, so the God of Destruction in Universe 11 isn't even the strongest being in the universe, whereas in Universe 7, Beerus is the strongest being in the universe. But I think it's without doubt that Master Gitchen would have been incredibly strong because he would have trained alongside the likes of Belmod and obviously he trained Jiren. Whether Jiren surpassed him or not, once again, is unanswered. But this demon didn't just defeat Master Gichin, he defeated a younger version of Jiren as well. Now, it's never fully clarified as to whether Jiren went back to fight against this demon and whether or not Jiren put this demon to the sword. That demon might still be out there in Universe 11, in the demon realm of Universe 11 with its own hierarchy. Maybe this demon wasn't even the strongest demon in Universe 11. There's so much to be answered, but this demon would be vastly stronger than the demons that we have in Universe 7. Obviously, we know the demons have very potent magic, and like I mentioned earlier, they have skills and abilities that ultimately prevent even angels from reversing what they've done. So there's definitely something about them, some mysticism about them that is incredibly potent, even if their raw power isn't quite at the levels of the top tier fighters in the multiverse. But of course, there isn't just Universe 11, there's the possibility that they're in all of the other universes as well, all 12 universes. And to go beyond that, who's to say there's not some sort of head demon in terms of all of the demon realms in the universe, like there is for the gods of destructions and supreme kai's where we have the angels and the omni kings maybe there's a reverse omni king or a reverse grand priest i've talked about how somebody like a mechi cabra could be brought into the main canonicity of the story guys do not be surprised dime is going to heavily take inspiration from the better parts of gt and heroes and whilst i don't think those series on in their own rights are quite as good as super I think they do have a lot of good ideas in them. And if they're portrayed correctly and delivered correctly, then I think they could be really good and interesting to watch. Do not miss my video where I talked about the potential of Super Saiyan 4 becoming canon in Daima 
and him eventually mixing it up with Ultra Instinct to create a Super Saiyan 4 Ultra Instinct-like form. But back to the demon that killed Master Gitchin and potentially has Jiren wary of fighting him to the point where Jiren's in a complete pursuit of strength, even though he may be going down the wrong avenue and he may need to start trusting people. But maybe that's why Master Gitchin needs Jiren to trust people and to make friends and allies in order to actually fight against this extremely powerful demon. What if this demon is the most powerful demon in the multiverse? Is he a leader of demons or is he just a damn strong demon? This is what we could be confronted with in the future. Like I've said many times, I really hope Dragon Ball Super starts to explore more of the multiverse, but imagine if it starts to explore more of the multiverse and their demon realms, where there's an hierarchy of demons that surpass even current levels of the top fighters in Universe 7. Of course, if Jiren comes back into play in post-superhero, he's going to be damn strong as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he's the strongest. And when the 10th arc of the Dragon Ball Super manga comes out, or a new future movie, it could be Jiren arriving in Universe 7 asking to team up with the likes of Goku, Vegeta, Gohan and Broly and Piccolo in order to face off against this demon. Perhaps this demon also colluded with Frieza in order for Frieza to attain his black form. I've got a theory video on that as well. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Is the demon that killed Jiren's parents and master the strongest demon in the multiverse? Could this demon be a threat to even the angels? I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Please do smash a like on the video. All likes truly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Until next time, Ad Astra.